in two dimensions, you have space that nobody's achieved in oh, with all their 3D, whatever tricks mm. and trades and massive screens they have. There's space there in a way one's never mm. seen it. Mm, great. Uh, well, <laughs> <laughs> we worked hard. <laughs> we really, it really was. I'm totally you left Nick, Nick Park speechless. Well, you've left most of us speechless. Yeah. <laughs> Nick couldn't, we, he saw it two days ago at Ardman. And he, I said, what do you think, Nick? And he said, <laughs> <laughs> but but I mean, it, it is quite true that, that uh, uh, how long how long of the fifty five years that we've known each other has has this been in the in well, the works as long as I can remember. Well, it was twenty two twenty years we did it on our own, paying for it with commercials, hundreds and hundreds of commercials. And for 20 years, and then two years when the money came in, and uh, so it's most took it to that point. It's most of 40 years, really. Oh, it's more. 40 years ago, because uh, Ken Harris turned up 40 years ago, I think, <laughs> halfway through my life, and then uh, we put into uh, the thing grew kind of around Ken. I had another character as well, and that didn't work, and we sort of lost it and started building around the, uh, uh, around the thief, bits and pieces. It's all made out of bits, organic bits, you know. It, uh, I, I'm looking back, so I'm, I'm yeah. thinking about our relationship over 40 years, and yes. thinking that, uh, 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 I, I always knew what was going on. Yeah. I um, and uh, I think I'm, I think it's very probable that you'd have sometimes shown me the it's latest ten definitely. seconds, things yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, and I know that you would arrive and say, "Oh, I've taken that character out; it's gone." So yeah. we'll sh re we're reshooting all that. And uh, I know I That's I good. even have in treasure uh, some drawings of of rejected <laughs> items. Oh. Oh. Not many, but enough Quite a lot. Treasure. Some very good stuff had to go. We mm. had a great animator, uh, Emery Hawkins, that did a whole, we had a, a beast that, the princess had a twin, and this beast was in love with her, or she was in love with him for some funny reason, and Grim Natwick did a lot of crazy work on it, and, and Emery Hawkins did some wonderful transitional morphing work, and we had to lose it. It just, the, the story was just too huge, damn it. Is, 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 uh, are there any things we can uh, attribute s still to Grim Natwick? One walk on the witch. Yeah. <laughs> he, he was 90, and he did this funny walk on the witch, and it sort of set me going on the witch. One regret I've got about the witch, I, I, that's all my stuff on the witch, and, and uh, it's the only, th you know, the main thing with animation that you can really do stuff is, is morph it. So she was going to turn into spaghetti, you know, and come and go, and there was a bit of that. But uh, I had some really funny. Uh, uh, anyway, it's as far as we got. <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I think a, a lot of people won't know the background of the story. So, uh, so can we tell them the the bad story first, the sad story first? Uh, what happened to it? Yes, I mean, wh why only now do we see the film and well, we see it in a, w in a working print? One, so it was a lot of things like a, an accident. One of the financiers ran it at Warner Brothers and left the second last reel out, so they wonder why it didn't make any sense. And uh, actually, the same guy kept turning up with famous rock stars, trying to put rock music into it, and trying to get well-known composers. We had three composers that did, you know, like the one-eye music and the stuff at the front and you can see going through the um, the awnings and stuff and on the high wire, that was all original. And because they weren't known, these people were getting very nervous. And he said, but your two main characters don't speak. You know, we have to have voices. So you're up against conventionality. And, and I think the best way to say is it you know the golden rule? Whoever has the gold makes the rules. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny, but it's not funny. And I will never go near one of those again. 
And so I just work. I work now, and I'm doing extremely well. I'm doing the best work I've ever done, definitely. I told my brother, gee, I've really suddenly gotten a lot better. And he said, well, as long as you think so, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> but I prefer, it's, it's true. I can handle stuff much better now, because it's another, that's a long time ago now. <coughs> um, so that's it. I mean, there's nothing, I, I, in my case, you have to have, well, to get something down the main line, I think if we'd financed it in Europe, we'd have gotten it through. And my wife, Mo, who produced the film, said, why don't you do it in Europe? You, what you love is European films. You don't yeah. particularly care, except for the old Di Disney. Um, you like European-born films, and you could do it here, and it would take a lot longer, but you'd get it done your way. And I said, no, I can get this through the main line. Wrong. <laughs> so it's just one of those, you can't believe, what, I couldn't believe what happened. I mean, so that, that's the bad part. I mean, the company but was Warner's. Yeah. 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 And, and did you go to Warner's, or did Warner's come to you? Uh, I went to Warner's. I'd been to Warner's several times, and they were very keen. And the fan very, I, I let the financier go to them, which is why the reel wasn't shown. You know, I let, because I was busy no. working. Mm. Mm. It's a terrible thing. I have, um, well, the best man at Disney is a fellow called um, Milt Call. And I think I drew him in my book. I used to, he was a tremendous genius. And I, I'm so privileged to have known him and, and he helped me and taught me in many w ways. I mean, just to know the guy, he was so much better than everybody. And I used to do drawings of him with, the, he's sitting there drawing and his back is just covered in spikes and that, or uh, darts that everybody's, as they come back from lunch, having had, you know, in their suits, they throw a few more darts at him and say, this guy's kind of irresponsible, isn't he? Just sitting there drawing this stupid. And that really, unfortunately, marketing people, well, anyway, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's diff good luck to everybody. <laughs> and I'm very lucky because I've got enough to just keep working. And uh, I'm doing very nicely, thank you. It's a question. Would you like to know the name of the working title of my film that I've been on for the last 15 years? Yes. It's called, Will I Live to Finish This? <laughs> at the moment. <laughs> so we're defying gravity here. But uh, I wouldn't let, there was a financier who wanted to get into it, and I wouldn't have anything to do with him. I, and his wife came up to me after and said, you're right, keep away from him. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it's tough. I, I, in my case, you know, I started on my own, my first film, The Little Island which David gave me a really good review for. <laughs> and, that must uh, be how we met, I think. Yeah. 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 And, and um, it's now gone full circle from the Hollywood, you know, through the commercials, the Hollywood trip, and then back, and now sitting in a chair al happily alone. You know, with I have a lot of uh, friendly help from Ardman where we work. They're marvelous. And uh, I'm shooting a big chunk of it right now last week, first time. Anyway, it's just the best you can do, you know. I remember Kurosawa, who is my hero, um, he spent 10 years he was unable to make a film. Yeah, and he did. even slid his wrists at one point mm. and recovered. It's a tough game. If you, if you want to do the stuff, that the, what's going and what's in fashion and you're willing to serve, you're, they treat you Gold, gold, red carpets. Yeah, yes, well, you have to serve the machine, and I can't. I never could really. Mm. Actually, uh, I think Kurosawa had it worse than you because, uh, in order to get out of a contract, uh, the studio privately had him certified insane. <laughs> this is true. And I didn't know that. And uh, so after that, he uh, he couldn't understand why he could never get a, a get insurance. Yeah, it was because there was. This is a certificate, which I, I can't remember which student it was who well, organized we, that. We could, uh, you know, this horror stories about Orson Welles and everything. I had it worse than Orson. 
tough, Larson. <laughs> it was nothing. I think we can go on with real horror stories. Um, first time I met Nick Park at Arden, we started telling each other horror stories. He, and the, but, but the thing is, can we switch to the good stuff? Yes. <laughs> let's, 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 let's. There's no point, you know. Yeah. 